what Denny does. He just steals your damage, he dives you under tower, and even just stealing that 25 or so, now they're about even. Well, the one thing that we need to mention is that 430, Alchemist has a Hanamitis. And while that's happening, the, the first block, blade, I think the Shadow Blade. But top lane and here. Best bomb on Kuroki. Fissure blocks there, but he get, gets passed an awkward way around the tower. Shackle Still running shot. in a beautiful shackle. Now Havos comes out. Surprise, it's me, and I'm out for blood. AUI slowed up. He throws out the stun. It won't be enough. Down he goes. I mean, that was with the pathing. It just TP the support. Navi does that. Yeah, they, they TP the support with the infested life slayer because get, he could just TP back in the mid lane and he will do so right now to focus on dead. But here comes Havos. Havos right turning on the fog. Fox going to be dead. And now Drum's going to get popped on Havos. Shackle shot onto two. And all of these guys, they are so dead. Dignitas. Snaking on the run, but uh, yeah. it's a massacre, it's a triple kill, and Dendi is out of control. So, here, get a shadow blade up on the Windrunner. I mean, I don't think Dendi needs to be really that. Oh, uh, meanwhile, Echo Slam on to Kuroki in the middle of the fray, though. They've lost one for one. Now they'll back off. Yeah, okay. Now, Dendi going in mid lane, snaking will Astral and look to run. But that the purge lasts. Jesus. The purge lasts long enough to give him like an extra 80 Ooh, damage. They're walking up the hill. Stomp number one, stomp number two, and Dendi just shredding fog apart. You can't do that. Not at nighttime with Navi having multiple heroes off the map. The vision isn't there. Snaking another Astral. He's trying to run. Forced to TP out because the boast is in the party. Big fissure from Kuroki. Two more hit the deck. Zero, one and zero. Two towers on top and of the towers. Yeah, and now universe. Universe hit by one nuke. Now oh, a two hero what? shackle. Even better. It's a two what? for one special. Navi just got a deal and they didn't even realize it. And now an echo slam from Kuroki. Two more hit the oh, deck. Oh, they see. It, they see. So this game ends. Either way, how it turns out. But Kuroki looking for a fissure now. Damage being stolen from Dendi. No, they're gonna go back in. The OD, the first one down. Now the chase is on for Puppy. Simultaneously, Dendi. He takes all AUS damage and then he uses it against Way Too Sexy. Two dead, and oh by the way, look what Havost is doing. He's just going high ground at 13 minutes. So, hey guys, he's gonna dive universe into the tier four towers. Is there a swap? No, the teleport canceled. But Havost is infest. They can't kill him. Yeah, they can't. Jesus. Shackle to a tree. I'll be fine. Nope, that's not the case. Now Funic fishing for another shackle. He's gonna line up two. Fissure's there. This is too easy. This is not fair. I feel like I'm watching them go bowling. Snaking on the run. Dendi's got his ult available. Beautiful body block from Funic slowing him down. Now the ult thrown out. Snaking starting to melt. They need a stun. They need something. They're not getting much. Plasma field thrown out. Two more dead. Havos gets tired of pushing bottom and decides to go kill everyone. And Dignitas will GG out before the 14, 15 minute mark. 16 to 1. You're score and I think there's no question that Navi are now the heads on favorites in group A. No questions, no questions. No and questions. I'm still predicting that Dignitas go seven and seven and uh, LGD China make a triumphant return. DK's doing well. DK's doing well.